Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today let us do the part 4 of the same topic that is the exercise 8.2. We have already done 4 questions before. So let us start with the question number 5. So here they said a basket contains 260 apples. If 15% of the apples were rotten, find the number of apples good enough to be sold. So rotten apples is given as 15%. So 15% of what? The total number is 260. So we can say rotten apples is 15% of 260. So here 15% means you are going to write this. You are going to divide it by 100. This off means multiplication. And this is the total number that is 260. Or you can also add one thing that is the total number of apples here. is 260 so when you simplify this one 0 and 0 gets cut here 2 5s are and here 2 13s are so 5 1s are and 5 3s are so this is going to be 39 so the rotten apples are 39 so we want the good apples so where we can do good apples will be this will be from total we are going to subtract this rotten one this is 39 what we got that is going to be 221 that is what they have asked the number of good apples to be sold are 221 in a class of 30 students out of three students out of 30 students were absent what percentage of the students is absent so percentage of students absent will be this three out of this 30 this total number will come more here in the denominator and we want a percentage means you are going to multiply by 100 so what will we get here three ones are three tens are so ten ones are ten tens are so this is going to be ten percent so we want a percentage of students absent so we can say ten percent of the students are absent in an examination 96 of the candidates passed and 25 failed how many candidates appeared for the examination so we can say here that total number of candidates be x so per percentage of past candidates is given 96 percent so failed candidates is going to be from 100 96 percent is gone that is will be four percentage so they have given the number as 25 failed so number of failed candidates means this is going to be four percent of of this x so here the failed candidates is 25 number is given as well. so 25 is 4 divided by 100 this is percentage into x so now this will come here so 100 will come this on the left hand side and this will go in the denominator so that is x so when you simplify this one so this is going to be 25 so 25 multiplied by 25 that is going to be 625 is x so they have asked for the how many candidates appear for the examination is the total number so we can write here therefore 625 candidates appeared for the examination if 40 percent of a sum of money is rupees 560 what is the sum of money so let the total sum be this will be x so 40 percent of this sum of money means this is x is is means is equal to 560 so 40 percent means 40 divided by 100 of means multiplication x is 560 so x is going to be 560 this will go on this side that is going to be multiplied by 100 and this will go in the denominator that is divided by 40 so this and this gets cancelled four ones are four one forty is a that is 560 so 140 into 10 that is going to be 1400 so that is that they have asked for the sum of money that is which we are considered as x we can say therefore the sum of money is rupees 1400 95% of the students come to school by school bus. If 375 students do not use school bus, how many students are there in the school? So now we don't know the number of students, so that we can write let the total number of students be x. So they have said 85 students of the students come by school bus. So what will be the number? Those who don't come by school bus means we can say 15% do not use school bus. So now they have said if 375 students do not use school bus so 15 percent of this of the total number that is 375 
because it is given 375 do not use cold bus so now what will you write here 15 divided by this 100 this is percentage so you are going to divide it by 100 of means multiplication x is 375 so x is going to be 375 this will go on this side and it's going to be multiplied by 100 divided by this will be 15 so 15 ones are 15 25 are so x is going to be 2500 so we can write there are 2500 students in the school that is what there are how many students are there in the school find a percentage of increase or decrease in the following cases population of a town increased from 5 lakhs to 6 lakhs in 3 years and price of a shirt reduced from rupees 480 to 460 so now let us see the first part so increase is how much from 5 to 6 lakhs so 6 lakhs we can say 6 lakhs minus 5 lakhs that is going to be 1 lakh is the increase so now what we, what we want we want a percentage of increase because we have this increase so you are going to use the percentage of increase so percentage increase is whatever we got the difference that is one lakh and the original original was from five it was to six lakhs so five lakhs will be here into we want the percentage so it is going to get divided by sorry multiplied by hundred so you understood that this is the difference divided by the original original was five lakhs into 100 so this zeros get cut so five ones are five twenties are so that is the percentage increase is 20 percent so we can write the population increase by 20 percent now in the b part they said price of a shirt reduced from rupees 480 to 460 so that is a reduce means it is it we have to write from decrease decrease means from 480 to 460 means we'll see the decrease how much is that 480 minus 460 that is 20 is the decrease one but we want the now we want a percentage decrease so how much is that percentage decrease means so what is the decrease is 20 out of that what happened here what is the this one for 480 because this is the original from 480 to this one so we'll write it 480 into percentage means you are going to multiply by 100 so here we'll write here 0 and 0 gets cut 2 5s are 2 24s are then we can write here 4 6 are and 4 5s are so what will be that that is going to be 25 by 6 so 25 by 6 when you divide it you get approximately here the answer is going to be 4.17 you can divide and see that is percentage so we can say the price of the shirt decreased by approximately 4.17 percentage out of an income of rupees 15,000 Ali spends rupees 10,200 what percentage of his income does he save so savings is what that is the income minus expenditures this is expenditure means what is spent so what is here income is given as 15,000 and this expenditure this is given as 10,200 so this when you subtract this this is going to be 4800 so you can also do one thing in such a type of problem we can write separately what is the income then you have to write how, how much does he spend that is the expenditure or what is that expenditure that is and then start with this formula so now we wonder what percentage of this income does he save so savings percentage so that will be what is that savings is 4800 and always whatever we write here that is the from what this savings is from the total income so that is going to be 15000 and because it is a percentage we are going to multiply by 100 so this and this gets cut so now you can see this and this gets cut so here 15 ones are 15 32 are that is 480 so that is 32 percent so we can write here Ali saves 32 percent of his income so by this one I completed today's work do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of the other parts thank you